good evening everyone today i am going to present a very important case it is a case study on resistant ovary syndrome our patient is a 32 year old female she had complaints of amenorrhea since 3 months dryness during intercourse night sweats she was also feeling extremely hot during the day her medical history consisted of hypothyroidism since 10 years she was taking thyroxin 100 mcg and she was using progesterone only pills and stopped 6 months ago since she wanted to conceive again and she already has a daughter uh, whom she had breastfed her menstruation history she had a normal 27 day cycle till 30 years of her age patient had no apparent stress and she had stable vital signs her uh, lab parameters were uh, pretty much normal but her follicular stimulating hormone was very high along with her luteinizing hormone and her estradiol levels were uh, borderline like the diagnosis according to the subjective objective data and lab parameters her diagnosis was made to be resistant ovary syndrome and premature menopause premature menopause is the uh, onset of menopausal symptoms before the age of 40 if a female has menopausal symptoms in the age of 40 it is known as early onset menopause if she has symptoms after 45 years it is normal menopause but this patient is only 32 years old and she was facing menopausal symptoms so it is known as premature menopause and it was because her ovary was not reacting to the estrogen produced and the estrogen levels were very low the signs and symptoms are vaginal dryness hot flushes night sweats and infertility in some cases the goals of therapy was to provide symptomatic relief and to prevent further complications about the disease uh, this is a rare gynecological illness known as resistant ovary syndrome often referred to as ovarian insensitivity syndrome or savage syndrome and has a variety of etiological causes patients who have primary or secondary amenorrhea before the age of 30 exhibit clinically with a low response to exogenous gonadotropins elevated endogenous gonadotropin levels and low estrogen levels according to biochemical tests this patient also had a very high follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone and the uh, borderline estrogen levels which were indicating the presence of savage syndrome or resistant ovary syndrome additionally the ovarian reserve of resistant ovary syndrome patients is normal as evidenced by their normal anti malarial hormone and inhibiting b levels as well as by the normal numbers of tiny follicles on vaginal ultrasound and laparoscopic ovarian histology anti malarial hormone and inhibin b are uh, quite the opposite of follicular stimulating hormone it is produced by the primordial follicle and it acts against the follicular stimulating hormone as it inhibits the activation and growth of follicles in females ros belongs to type 3 amenorrhea characterized by hypergonadotropic hypogonadism this classification was uh, published by world health organization to manage this disease or this syndrome uh, osteoporosis may be prevented with estrogen replacement with progesterone protection of the uter uh, uterus if estrogen is alone administered to the patient it may cause endometrial cancer so progesterone is prescribed along with estrogen traditional hormone replacement therapy preparations or the combined oral contraceptive pills are effective occasionally premature menopause is a fluctuating condition resisting ovary syndrome whereby the ovaries may function intermittently contraceptive should therefore be used if it would be undesirable to become pregnant in this patient uh, she wanted to conceive her second kid so it would be better to opt for hrt preparations but for patients who are undesirable to become pregnant a uh, combined oral contraceptive pills is a good choice as it is more of a normal treatment and combination of letrozole and human menopausal gonadotropin could also be used letrozole is an aromatase inhibitor which could be used to induce ovulation
Interventions found were to repeat the gonadotropin levels. It is required to confirm the result and exclude mid-cycle gonadotropin surge or fluctuating gonadotropins. Bone scan is necessary for baseline bone density and to help in monitoring effects of hormone replacement. Chromosomal analysis identifies the rare cases of premature menopause due to fragile X syndrome or Turner syndrome mosaicism. Thank you.